one number 23. Not bad. Bullock knocks down the three. McKinney Jones with the answer with the other end to tight. Top of the show when Larkin threw the ball off the backboard. Kaji came in and dunked it. Carolina didn't take very kindly to that. They were humiliated in that game. Larkin using the screen and burying the three. His dad, the Hall of Famer, our guy Barry Larkin, was a team called Louisville. Swope from the foul line. Third opportunity is there for Kaji, and Miami's getting some chances on the offensive glass. In the conference, I mean, I can respect the fact that Green was the leading scorer, but Larkin really was the key for this club that went right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful basketball. And then decided to change his sports, didn't like some of the coaching he was getting, switched to basketball, and I'd say it's been pretty good for him as he feeds McKinney Jones again. Yeah, McKinney Jones better take him down to South Beach. Look at Barry. He loves it. Good seed, you would think, the way they have played the last couple of months, regardless, or a month or so, regardless of what happens here today. Joel James had to switch on to Larkin, and that is trouble for Carolina. He's a big-time player. Larkin using the screen again, finding the open man. McKinney uh, Jones again. I tell you, McKinney Jones is living off the penetration of Larkin. But Hairston's making them look easy today. A couple of screens for Larkin. He pulls up and he knocks it down. It's a long two for Larkin in this game. What I like about the points are being put on the board. Teams are really getting after it. Larkin again. What a step back by Larkin. So much balance this year. The teams have yeah. been so equal. I'm going to tell you, I see right there no number two from New Mexico. They can make a case for Steve Orford's ball. Ryan Brown with a three. Uh, shot clock is off now. Little ball. As Larkin winds down the first half, Look. splits the double team, puts up the floater, uh, and hits. Are you serious? Hey, guys. Hey, Reese. Hey, all you guys. Jerry, Jerry, Digger. What about this performance by Larkin? Uh, they're not just experienced. They're good. He loves to penetrate and kick that ball out to the wing. And the follow is there for Julian Gamble off the miss from Scott. Good duo. Steal uh, by McKinney Jones. First turnover of the day committed by Page. McKinney Jones, his fourth three of the game. That's a big difference maker right there. Three. Nice time to gamble. How good is Larkin? Nice pass. I got a feeling you like Larkin. <laughs> He's controlling the game. Line team. We haven't played this team yet this year. McKinney Jones. Rebound Kaji. Good offensive rebound. Yeah, Larkin's had a much down. quieter second half than he did in the first half. The zone has changed the tempo. Larkin. Stepped right in that gap that time. He said, don't tell me about silence in me. By the way, every year since the NCAA started seeding, gamble from Larkin again. If a school's... As a screen, he knows when to use it and how to use it. Brown. McKinney Jones. Yes! That's big. What a day he has had. What a day he has. McKinney Jones. I believe that's six for him. Six in the game. Bullock. Blocked by Gamble. And again. Gamble, yeah, there it is. The upset joy. Miami Heat share the headline. Forget Miami Heat tomorrow. The headline of Miami Papers got to be about the double dip of the Miami Cage in basketball. Congratulations to Jim Larinaga and the Miami Hurricanes winning the program's first ACC Tournament Championship, defeating North Carolina 87 to 77, a regular season title, a conference tournament championship.